<coughs> Track one. Yeah. Track two. Track one. Track eleven. Track ten. And I read the births, deaths, and marriages uh, from the uh, Southern Reporter and the Berwickshire News. Dealing with the Berwickshire News first. Hooray, we've got a birth. Don't always have one to Ewan and Angela Barrowclough, a daughter, Sophie Ellen. Deaths. Isabella Bain from Aiton died on the 10th of June, mother of Patrick Clark and wife of the late John. Thomas Carr at Tweedmouth House on Monday the 20th of June. Gillian Robertson at the Margaret Kerr unit, daughter of Sheena and George Miller of West Folden, partner of Rutherford Miller, mum to Joanna, Zoe and Natasha. John Wright of Sea Houses at Wandsbeck Hospital on the 6th of June. Beloved husband of the late Irene and dad of Brenda and Pauline. And, and that's all from the Berwickshire news. Let's move on to the Southern Reporter. There were no births. Here are the deaths. James Donaldson on, um, in the Borders General Hospital on Monday the 13th of June. Husband of the late Janet, dad of Brian and Keith. Mm. Margaret Emund of Selkirk at Riverside Health Centre, Health Care Centre, on Monday the 13th of June. Wife of the late Dodd, mother of George, Evelyn and Margaret. Catherine Kelly of Jedburgh at Bonchester Bridge Care Home on Thursday the 9th of June, wife of the late Hugh. John Moody at home in Midlam on the 10th of June, husband of the late Helen, father of John. <coughs> Annie O'Hara of Jedburgh on Sunday the 5th of June, wife of the late Jimmy, mother of the late Linda. Graham Ramsey, suddenly at home in Gala Shields on the 9th of June, brother to Alma, Ian, Jean, Sandra and the late Billy and I must make the announcement of the diamond wedding of Young and Black, Bert and Nora Young married on the 16th of June 1956 at Carnwall Parish Church now at Berrywell Drive, Duns. And for the thought for the week which is written by Richard Bond. The heartfelt cry of the pressured executive, decisions, decisions, or perhaps our own everyday experience in trying to deal with uncertainty. It is assumed by retailers and politicians that the public wants ever more choice in what we buy and do. However, with every choice comes a decision. Freedom has implications. Decisions can be trivial, tea or coffee, or of long-term importance, to remain as part of the EU or to exit. 
Whatever our decisions, we have to live with the consequences. Of course, none of us has a crystal ball and so can never fully work out the consequences of our decisions, so ultimately the big decisions are an act of faith. The story of Adam and Eve in Genesis illustrates that, with God-given free will, we might choose to disobey God. As with us today, we can choose to ignore God, even his very existence, or choose to accept his love in the redeeming sacrifice of Jesus. Certainly an act of faith and the biggest decision we will make in our lives. So is it one decision too many? A decision we can do without? No, because once we submit our lives to God, everything else is taken care of. Is that right? Track one. Eh? Track 10. Hello, this is Alison again, and I'll now read the births, marriages and deaths from the Berwickshire News and the Southern Reporter. Um, there are no births or marriages this week, so I'll go straight on to the deaths, firstly from the Berwickshire, um, starting with Hazel Barker of Oldhamstocks at Holly Trees Bellhaven Hospital on Sunday, May the 29th wife of the late Bill and mum of Caroline and Susan and mother-in-law of Alistair and loving granny to Jennifer, Simon, Rachel and Louise. A private cremation um, was held last week. And Margaret Ray Baxter of Duns died peacefully at the Margaret Care Unit on the 29th of May. She was only 57. Wife of Colin and mother of Mark, of Mark and Michael. Mother-in-law to Louise and Faye and Granny of Lily, Ethan and William. A celebration of her life will be held in Dunn's Parish Church on Monday the 13th of June at 11.30. Margaret Hogarth um, of Reston died peacefully at home on June the 3rd. Wife of Jim and yeah, much loved mother, I, Granny and I Great Granny. Peacefully. And a cremation was held privately at her own request. Peacefully. Um, Johnson, Molly Johnson of Eyemouth, peacefully at Hillside Lodge on Saturday the 4th of June, wife of the late Robert and it's aunt of Christine yeah, and Brian. Yeah, yeah. A service will take place at Houndwood Crematorium on Tuesday the 14th of June at 1.30. Margaret Morrison of Duns, peacefully at the Knoll Hospital on Saturday June the 4th, wife of the late Alex and sister to George and Jess. A short service at the Borders Crematorium in Melrose on Tuesday the 14th of June at 2 o'clock. Jim Purvis of Eyemouth passed away peacefully at Hillside Lodge Berwick on Saturday the 4th of June, father of John, Marion and their families. An interment will take place in Eyemouth Cemetery on Monday the 13th of June at 2 o'clock. Bill Williams of Kelso died peacefully at home on the 4th of June 2016. Husband of Lisbeth, dad of Karen and Jim. The funeral service is at the Borders Crematorium in Melrose on Thursday the 16th of June at 3 o'clock. And the deaths from the Southern Reporter. Robert Charles Aitken of Darnick, a former charge nurse at Gogoburn Hospital, died peacefully on the 5th of June 2016. Uh, husband of Alison and father of Rowena and Hannah. A yeah. uh, family funeral has been already held. Yeah. Fairbairn, Elizabeth, known as Betty Fairbairn of Hoyick, uh, wife of the late Tom, mother of Michaela, of, sorry, of Michael, Janetta, Andrew, Margaret and the late David. Uh, service at John Beatty and Son on Thursday the 16th of June at 10 o'clock with interment at Wellogate Cemetery at 10.30. Um, Maybury, the Reverend Dave Keynes Maybury, um, died peacefully in the Margaret Care Unit at the BGH on Sunday the 29th of May right. 2016, husband of Doreen and father of Paul, Andy, Ruth and James. A service is to be held in St Cuthbert's Episcopal Church in Hoyick on Monday the 13th of June at 11 o'clock with cremation at the Borders Crematorium at 1 o'clock. 
and Neil O'Hara of Gala Shields died peacefully at Now South Nursing Home on Thursday the 2nd of June, brother of Jackie. Um, a service has already been held. David Rawlings of Earlston died peacefully at the Borders General Hospital on the 5th of June. Dave was aged 90 and husband of Grace, father of Kenny, Paul, Heather, Alan and Peter. Uh, crem the, the cremation at the Borders no, Crematorium no, 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 has no, no, already been no, held. No. Anna Christina Simpson of Earlston died peacefully at the Margaret Care Unit on the 4th of June, much loved daughter of the late Jean and George, sister of Jack and Jimmy. The funeral service is to be held at Earlston Parish Church on Friday the 17th of June at 11 o'clock, followed by interment in Earlston Cemetery at 11.30. <coughs> Jim Stark of Melrose died peacefully at the Margaret Care Unit on Wednesday the 31st of May. He was husband of Linda and father of Richard and Andrew. The funeral service was held last week in Melrose. And Mary Whittens of Jedborough died peacefully at the BGH on the 4th of June, wife of the late Jim and mother of Ian and David. A funeral service is private with interment at Castlewood Cemetery on Wednesday the 15th of June at 10.30. And that concludes all the be the rest marriages and deaths for this week. Track 11. Here are this week's phone numbers. Gala Waterways Group. Uh, contact David Usher on 0189... Track 10. <laughs> Track nine. And another story now about a uh, lady, um, this time in relation to golf. Bulldogs providing <laughs> some class <laughs> therapy the story and a the, picture uh, of the tweet site, yeah, uh, tweet mouth middle school we, pupils we with their away. therapy bulldogs. Oh, pupils at tweet mouth county middle school have begun a new mm -hmm. after school club this year. Some of the Year 6 children have had the opportunity to work as dog care assistants with a family of four bulldogs with the aim to train these further furry friends.